Hi, my name is Marcelo, and in this video we will learn data scraping from web page with WebPath. So, we will create the automation that will open the browser in web page websites, and we'll search for a laptop, and so for each laptop we'll extract the title and the price of each one. And then, in the final, we'll export the extracted data to an Excel file. So, let's go here to our WebPath. And so, in first, our automation should open the browser. So, to do that, let's go here to Activities and let's search for the activity Open Browser. So, this activity will open the browser in the indicated web page. So, let's drag this activity. So, here we have to indicate the URL of the web page website. So, let's copy here the URL. And now, let's create a variable that will store uh, the URL of eBay website. So, here, let's click here, and now let's do Ctrl plus key, and let's create the variable as eBay URL. And let's click on Enter, and now here on Variables, let's define the value of this variable. So let's click here on Default, and now let's uh, put here quotes, and now let's paste here the URL. And so now we define uh, the value of this variable. So now if you run our automation, it should open the eBay website. So let's close it and let's run our automation. So as you can see here, it uses the Internet Explorer browser. So let's change that. So here on the activity, on the properties, here on browser type, let's define the browser Chrome. And so now let's run our automation again, and now it should use the Chrome browser. And so as you can see here, the Chrome browser in the web website. So now we need to define here the automation to type here laptop and perform a search. So let's search here for the activity type into, and let's drag it inside the sequence too. And now we have to indicate to the activity where it should type in. So let's click here on indicate element inside browser. And now let's click on this element. And now we have to indicate here the text that we want the activity to type in. So inside quotes, let's type here laptop. At this moment, the automation should open the browser in eBay website and type here laptop. So now it needs to click here on the search to perform the search or send the key enter. So basically, let's here on the type into click here on the plus sign. And now let's select here enter. And by this way, so after the activity types laptop, it should execute the key enter. And so by this way, we'll perform the search. So let's close the browser and let's run our automation. So as you can see here, we'll type right now the text. And so uh, perform the search. So the automation opened the browser in every website and executed the search. And now here we need to do the data scraping. So to do the data scraping, let's go here to YPath and let's uh, choose this option here, data scraping. And now first we need to select the value that we want to extract for each laptop. So let's click on next. And so let's indicate here the title. So let's indicate. And now to create a pattern, we need to indicate a similar field. So let's click on next and let's indicate this title. And so as you can see here, the highlight, so it's recognizing the title of each laptop. Now here, let's give a name to the column. So let's say here, title. And now let's select this option, extract URL, so we can extract the URL of each laptop. So let's give here the name of URL to the column. And let's click on next. So here we can find the maximum number of results extracted. So let's say here 200. And now let's click on finish. And will appear a window asking if is the data spanning multiple pages. And we can see here that uh, yes, uh, we have more pages with more data. So let's click here on yes. And let's indicate the button that uh, allows us to go to the next page. So let's indicate this button. And so now was generated this activity. So we can remove this uh, sequence, the data scraping sequence. So let's do right click and let's click on remove surrounding sequence. 
And so let's click on this activity that will extract. And now let's click on this activity that will extract the data. And so we can see here that we have already a variable that will contain output, so the extracted data of type uh, data table. So now to export the data to Excel file, let's go to activities and let's search for write range. So this activity will write Excel file with the data from a data table. So let's use a write range from workbook. Let's drag to here. So in first we have to say the workbook path. So let's do here double quotes and let's write the data dot Excel SX. So by this way, we are indicating basically the path of our project. So if it doesn't exist any Excel file, this activity will create one. And now here sheet name can be this one. And now here on data table, let's indicate the variable of type data table that contains the extracted value. So uh, this one. And now here on the properties of the activity, let's uh, check this option, add headers. So by this way, we'll have the name of the columns. And now in last, let's remove this attached browser. So let's minimize this sequence and let's delete this attached browser. And so now uh, we can remove this sequence too. So let's do right click and let's click on remove surrounding sequence. So uh, by this way, uh, the automation should open the browser in a website, uh, write laptop and perform the search. And so extract the title and the URL of each laptop until uh, so extracts uh, 200 results and then export the extracted data to Excel file. So uh, let's run our automation. So we'll write right now laptop and we'll perform the search. And so we can see that it's going to the next page because it didn't extract yet 200 results. So until it doesn't have 200 results extracted, it will go to the next page. And so the execution ended. And now let's do here on project, do a refresh and will appear Excel file that was created. So let's open it. So we can see here the title and the URL of each laptop extracted. So as you can see here, we have 200 uh, results extracted. So if you have some question, leave here on the comments and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RPA related videos. Bye bye.